badly. Life is coming full circle for one Lafayette firefighter. Before being laid to rest today, 96-year-old James D. Newell got one last ride in an antique Lafayette fire engine. News 18's Micah Upshaw shares why this moment is particularly special for him and his family. This ride is particularly special because it's the engine he drove while serving on the department years ago. His family says he would have loved knowing that he spent his last ride in the same engine he spent his career in. About two months ago, I called uh, uh, Richard Doyle, who's a fire chief and a friend of mine, and I just simply asked, it would be possible to have a fire truck in the procession when he da dies? And he said, no problem, we've got to do it. So I told that to my dad and he was tickled that he'd have that. What Newell didn't know is that his casket would be riding in the same engine he drove while serving as a Lafayette firefighter for nearly 22 years. I think dad was the, is the last person to have driven that truck in the course of duty. Yes. Everybody else that's driven that truck has done it in a ceremonial sense, right. but he actually drove it for work. Newell's children say he had a passion for serving and putting others before himself. What impressed me most about my dad is back then he memorized all the city streets and where all the fire plugs were on, on every street. And th th those extra seconds of getting to a, a, to a fire could be very valuable. And he, he had them all memorized. And this is before Google Maps and right. anything else. Beyond his firefighting days, the family is also remembering how he was off duty. Kind, caring, generous, compassionate, loving. Huge Cub fan. Go Cubs Go was his favorite song because they play it when they win. We played it for him at the end of Mass and, and right here at the, uh, at the cemetery as well for him. He, he did win today. The engine traveled from his funeral at St. Mary's Cathedral to the Tippecanoe Memory Gardens here in West Lafayette. I am reporting in Tippecanoe County, Micah Upshaw News 18. Well, Purdue University.